Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at the Red Rock Cold Air Intake in Black for 2009 to 2018 5.7 liter Ram 1500s. This intake is a great option for the Ram owner who's seeking a simple way to get a little more sound and performance out of their truck, all at a very budget-friendly price tag. This is a bolt-in, no-tune required intake that provides similar benefits to the big name brands for one of the lowest prices in the whole segment. So despite being a pretty budget-friendly option, what we've got here is a nice little piece of kit. Now I wanna start with the filter itself. This is a reusable multi-layer oil design. So this is gonna do a great job of filtering out dirt and dust, but it also makes maintenance easy. You don't need to worry about replacing the filter, just clean it, re-oil it when it gets dirty, and you're right back on the road. It's a good money savings in the long run, so if you're planning on keeping your truck for a long time, this is gonna be a great option. Now there's also a Venturi adapter included to smooth out airflow going from that filter into the intake tube, which is not something that you see on every one of these. And you also get this black powder-coated aluminum intake tube, which feels pretty good in your hand. It's nice and lightweight. It's gonna add some visual interest to the engine bay. Now these aluminum tubes also add some nice noise due to the resonance of the metal. So you're gonna get to hear your engine sucking in the air, and to me at least, intake noise is one of my favorite noises on a truck. Speaking of interest, perhaps the most interesting part of this kit is that it comes with a heat shield as well, and it's a pretty complete one. It's a pleasant surprise to have this included here since many of the less expensive cold air intakes on the market don't include one, so they aren't necessarily cold air intakes. Having this piece means that your engine is gonna be able to more easily pull in colder air from outside as it separates the filter from the rest of the hot engine bay. That cooler air means better combustion and better combustion means more power for you. And since this one does not require you to tune your truck, you can just bolt everything on and enjoy. However, if you do wanna get more out of your intake setup, a custom tune will help you make the most of it. Now the heat shield and the intake tube that we were just talking about are both constructed from high strength aluminum with that black powder coating, making them light, durable, and heat resistant. So they're gonna look good and stay corrosion free for a long time to come. Again, that filter we were talking about a few moments ago is a multi-layer oil design. So this is a pretty quality piece too, and it should provide you with a nice upgrade versus your stock setup as well. And you've got everything that you need in the kit. You've got that Venturi adapter, the connectors, clamps, your PVC hose, and you even get some weather stripping to go around the outside of the intake box. So this is gonna help seal it off, and again, keep it from pulling in hot air from the engine bay. But the best part here, folks, well, that is gonna be the price. Coming in at just about $175, this is one of the least expensive intakes you can get for this gen of Ram. But despite that budget-friendly price tag, you're still getting a pretty good quality item for your money. And it is a very complete kit. Now, comparing it to other intakes on the market, this is gonna give you similar types of gains in overall performance. Intakes aren't known for making a whole heck of a lot of power. So this is gonna be a good option regardless, but especially if your build is a little bit more budget-focused, you're gonna get most of the performance and most of the benefits without having to spend a whole heck of a lot of money. As far as installation goes, this is gonna come in at an easy one out of three on our difficulty meter, and you should budget about an hour to get this done. It's a relatively simple install, very straightforward, and the intake on these trucks is easily accessible. Again, you get all the clamps, the connector pieces, that Venturi adapter, everything that you need is included in the kit, even new PCV hose. But enough of me talking about it, let's head on out to the install bay and we'll walk you through the process. The tools you're going to need for this install include an electric or regular quarter inch ratchet, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 6, 7, and 8 millimeter swivel socket, and a pair of diagonal cutters. What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing a cold air intake on a Ram, but before we get started you're going to watch a short video on how to uninstall your stock component, and I'll meet you back here for the install. So our first step to taking off our factory intake is to disconnect our MAF sensor. This is just going to be uh, the plug right on the front of the intake tube there. Just gotta press down and pull back on that tab. Right. Then we can wiggle off our PCV hose. All right. What we can do next is loosen up the clamp on the throttle body. I'm going to use an 8 millimeter socket as well as a quarter inch drive ratchet to get that done. Once that's loosened up, what we can do is pull up on the intake tube and remove it from our throttle body. And because our air box is held in by grommets, 
What we're gonna do is pull up on this as well. And then we can start to maneuver our intake out. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our engine cover. So we're just gonna lift up to pop those tabs out of place. Make sure we slide our PCV line out of the way. Then we can pull this and remove it off. So now we can pull our PCV tube out of the PCV system. And we can set this off to the side. Now we can remove this boot here. So we're just gonna pull up It'll pop out of place. Set that off to the side. So now we can take our new PCV line that's included in the kit, following with those small clamps that's also included. We're just gonna slide this right over our tube. Set that off to the side. Then we can take a six millimeter swivel socket and we can tighten up our clamp. Let me get push this over to the side. Then we'll grab our engine cover and reinstall this. There we go. We're gonna make sure that this line comes up through that hole. All right guys, so now we moved over to the table. We have to swap over a couple things on our air tube over to our new tube. And that's going to be the mass airflow sensor. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna to twist to the left and we could pull that out. We're gonna set this off to the side along with the tube. Then the kit includes a rubber grommet which is going to slide in this hole here. So that's gonna sandwich between that two lines. like so, and then all you have to do with the mass airflow sensor is slide it in place. Make sure you don't press too hard. You'll push that rubber grommet back out of place. There we go. All right guys, so for this specific cold air intake, it reuses the bottom part of the box. So we have to remove this top piece, which is just held in by little clips on the side that you just pull off, and then you can slide this top off. Once all those clips are popped out, all you have to do is slide it away from you. Remove this, along with our factory air filter and we're just gonna set these off to the side. All right guys, so now we're gonna be assembling our air box for the top part. So we're gonna grab our air filter with that worm clamp on there. Then we're gonna grab this part of the mount. We're gonna slide that in. Then we're going to grab the included two Phillips head screws. We're gonna slide this in our air box. You can flip that up. And then those two screws that are on the back we could thread those in from the air box. So as you can see, we got these lined up. We're gonna thread our screws into place. We'll grab our Phillips head screwdriver and we'll tighten these down. Then we can come back up to our worm clamp and we're gonna tighten that up with our eight millimeter swivel socket. So next we're gonna grab our new top half of the air box. We're gonna put that onto the old part of the bottom. So we're gonna have these lines here slide into the notches on the side of the air box. Like so. 
going to slide into place where then you can grab those clamps and clip them over to hold the top part down. Just like so. So it might be a little difficult, but you can put it on the side and press down to compress the boxes together. Then you can slide that clamp over. So now we can take our intake coupler and a larger worm clamp. We're gonna slide that over the coupler. So, and then we're gonna slide this over our air filter adapter. Then we can grab a seven millimeter swivel socket and lightly tighten this one up. So now we're gonna install the weather stripping that goes on top of our air box. So we're gonna start with the end here. And we're just gonna press this on and go down the line. Make sure we have that firmly in place. Just gonna twist that. Now once we get to the end here, you can grab a pair of diagonal cutters to cut off the excess. All right, so now we can get this air box onto the vehicle. So now we can set our air box into its original location. So we're gonna slide that air duct under that line here. And we're gonna line those studs up in the rubber grommets. Both sides, make sure that air duct is in there nice. So now we can grab our second intake coupler. We're gonna slide those two clamps, one on each end. And we're going to set this over our throttle body, just like so. Make sure we have access to tighten that down. So then we'll grab a 7 millimeter swivel socket and we're going to tighten up that bottom one. Take our 7 mil and we're going to tighten that bottom clamp down. So now we can take our intake tube, we're going to slide that over the coupler. We're just going to lightly install this until we have everything set in place. So I'm just going to snug this top clamp down with that 7 millimeter swivel socket. While we're here, we can plug in our mass airflow sensor. That's all you got to do. Might need to twist it a little bit. Just press it in until you hear a click. So now we can take our small clamp and slide that over the top of our PCV tube. We got that disconnected, so we're gonna have to tighten that up. But we're gonna slide this end cap off of our PCV tube, or the fitting, I'm sorry. Then we're going to let that hang for a second. We're gonna grab our large worm clamp, slide this over the coupler. And we're going to slide our intake tube into the coupler and the air filter. Might be a tight fit. So now we can take our PCV tube and slide that over the fitting. Just going to wiggle that up into place and we'll tighten this up with a six millimeter swivel socket. Now we'll come over to our last clamp. We're gonna tighten that up with a seven millimeter swivel socket. So now we can go back through and tighten up all of our clamps. All right, and now your install is complete.
That's gonna wrap it up here for our review and install of the Red Rock Cold Air Intake in Black, fitting 2009 to 2018 5.7 liter Ram 1500s. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, for all things Ram, be sure to stick with us right here at americantrucks.com.